and welcome to the Tarot Cottage. My name is Amy. I'm back today with a pick a card reading for you. A big welcome back to my beautiful returning subscribers. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you to all of my new subscribers as well. Thank you for your presence here. And as a thank you for your presence, I do offer a chance to win a free reading with me. All you have to do is drop your comment below um, beneath any of my videos this month for your chance to win. It doesn't have to be this video, it can be any video on my list. Be sure to hit your notification bell if you do so, so that I can notify you if you're chosen the winner and we can get the ball rolling. If you're new to the channel, we would love to have you join our beautiful soul family as well by subscribing to the channel, liking this video, hitting your notification bell. It helps me to bring you guys more content and I would love to have a chance to read for you as well. But for today's pick a card topic, we are looking at a person on your mind, a connection on your mind. And we're asking the question of spirit, what are their actions versus their true feelings for you? Do their actions towards you reflect the true nature of their feelings or is there a discrepancy here? We do have three piles to choose from today. Pile number one with the pink flower. Pile number two with the purple flower. And pile number three with the blue flower. So whichever pile or piles are calling out to you, there may be messages today waiting from spirit and my timestamps are listed below. I'm going to jump into pile number one. Again, today's topic is all about the person on your mind, their actions towards you versus their truest feelings for you at this time. Pile number one. Hello, pile number one. You are drawn here to the pink flower and to the jewel within the teardrop and this is your reading. The person on your mind, what are their actions towards you versus their true feelings? Now, the jewel within the teardrop says appreciation, spiritual and emotional reconnection. So this could be in a slight separation or in the very least an emotional separation at this time as well. And there is a certain amount of pain or sadness associated with the jewel within the teardrop. There's something to be gained for. It's almost bittersweet. So it's like their understanding of the connection, their feelings for you might be bittersweet because they may have a lot of feelings, but maybe they don't feel like they can express them in a very real way right now. But let's take a look here. We are going to do a comparison reading for you today. We're going to start with their actions towards you, pal one. How does this person currently act towards pal number one so that we can compare and contrast it to their actual true feelings in regards to this connection? So how do they treat pal one in the present? What are their actions reflecting? We have the nine of pentacles with the four of wands. We have the Empress. We have the Ace of Wands. Back of deck, we have the Sun. Let's clarify this as we go. Can we clarify, please, the Empress? Actually, let's clarify the Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Wands as well, please. We have the Six of Wands. The Seven of Pentacles. I feel like there is a lot of abundance in this connection. It doesn't necessarily feel like you're in a separation, but it may feel like an emotional separation right now. The truth is, is I feel like this person is wearing some masks wearing masks of confidence around you. Maybe they're really a tough nut to crack. Like you can't really put your finger on how they're feeling because they're not being very open to telling you what they perceive in the future of this connection. Here's the sun. We saw that sun already. Back of the deck, we have the 10 of wands. It feels as though the divine feminine in this connection, it's not even that you're being treated poorly. It's that they aren't making themselves known enough. They're not making their intentions known enough. And that's making you confused about their current feelings or their current intentions moving forward. I just feel like they're taking their time to express what they see happening next in this connection. There is something about you influencing them to change. Now, because this is a collective read, we do have multiple messages that are floating in from different energies. So please take the messages as they resonate and leave behind those that do not feel right to you, of course. Um, they are saying that this person's actions are not reflecting the true nature or the depth of their feelings because the truth is they see a lot of potential in this connection and we're going to get to their feelings in, the, in a moment. But 
I feel like their actions, although they don't feel negative, they just don't feel enlightening. This could even be representing a connection where the two of you are currently hanging out or currently dating, but you just don't know how they feel because they're just afraid to say it. They're, this person also, despite the fact that they act really confident, they face the same fears that we do when it comes to the fear of the unknown, overcoming karmic loops. It's almost like they're afraid to really sink into this connection or afraid to express themselves in a really profound way because they've been bit before. It's like they've jumped to that conclusion before, they've expressed themselves, and then they ended up suffering for it. Because I feel like they are kind of worried about what the next step is or worried about loss. And this might be, you might be interpreting this as somebody who's ignoring me or someone who's not giving me what I want or giving me the clarity that I want in this present moment. So you may be feeling ignored by this person, but their actions aren't necessarily reflecting any way that they're feeling about you, the truth is their actions are reflecting how they feel about themselves and what they think is possible and what they think they're capable of. I feel like there's a lot of potential in the future of this connection if they give in to the inspiration and they run with it. Now, the sun in the traditional Rider weight can feel very vulnerable when we go running towards the truth of how we feel. And that's why we're often a little bit more cautious. You know, there's something about your beauty really distracting this person. But I feel like they've gone through pain cycles. Otherwise, they wouldn't have reached this point of the Nine of Swords. They've gone through painful cycles in the past. Perhaps you have as well. But you'll notice that her, she's kind of yoked. She's got this poor creature filled to the rim with, with whatever it can carry. But we're walking downhill now. It's like they're speaking about it being downhill from here. And that the overthinking, the worrying that they could be applying in this moment to this connection, which is being interpreted by you as a lack of behavior or a lack of momentum towards you, it's just reflecting their inner world. How do they truly feel? Because they may be taking their time to express themselves to you, but that doesn't mean that you're not the focus of the movie here. We have the Ace of Pentacles with the lovers coming out for their true feelings for you, Pal One. And the truth is that this is like an opportunity towards deep connection, not just attraction, although they are very attracted to you. Your distraction in their work realm, like you could stop traffic in this person's opinion. But it's, it's after we get through the attraction, after we initiate that, where we start to realize there's more here than just the physical. There's more of a deeper connection here. But you represent this doorway of opportunity and you represent those mountain peaks and having to face the fears of the unknown. By putting my faith in the attraction, 10 of pentacles. How do they truly feel, please? We have the death energy. King of pentacles, I just saw knight of pentacles too. I really feel like this person sees you as commitment material. Knight of Wands, Two of Cups coming out as well. So if you are just sort of seeing this person, it's loosey-goosey, it's not really defined right now. Spirit says that is not a true reflection of where they see this going. They may feel, they may be hesitating, but that's a part of their process. That's a part of their alchemy. It's a part of them trying to beat this dragon of fear. And here at the Knight of Wands with the Two of Cups, the way that they express themselves to you in this moment could be very sexual, could be very fiery, could feel like immediate gratification. But you can also notice that the Divine Masculine in this case looks like he's cloaked in a little bit of yellow. And so it's like this feels like a safer realm at approaching this connection in a very fiery way, filled with uh, a lack of confidence, but we're feigning it a little bit. It could be the key to success in this connection. Because this is a loyal person, but I feel like they're kind of hiding the capacity of their loyalty t in this moment. Like, it feels like they are giving the persona of being someone who just kind of plays the field. When this is somebody who has commitments in mind. And they definitely feel like you are commitment material. We have the Six of Cups. Back of the deck is the Four of Cups. And we have the Page of Swords. And I'm hearing that song, you know, I'm still learning to love in this moment. So again, there is a double message coming through here 
part of my message is that you guys are in, in connection in this moment, but there's a secondary message coming in where we may not be in connection and we may have reunions that are in store for this connection in the future. Either way, this is a profound, profound connection that they feel. It's not just physical. It's also very emotional. There's almost soulmate energy surrounding how they feel, but they are hesitating to do what's necessary to move this into a commitment cycle in this moment. But the hesitation is not coming from lack of emotion or lack of attachment or lack of attraction to you. It's coming in from their own hesitation, the prison of their own making. This, in a perfect world, I feel like the two of you could commit or would commit moving forward. And the truth is, is that you trigger this person to wake up and pay attention. You trigger this person to start to, to make investments in the right direction. How did it truly feel? I feel like in this present moment, they're kind of stuck on the physical attraction that they feel towards you, which feels very unmatched. Like they're just very physically attracted to the Empress energy. You would inspire anyone to want to set down roots. We have the rooster, protective. It says, a uh, boastful person you should not cross. But this card, I also think about, I always think about the rooster being very protective, protecting the hen house. And there's almost a feeling of them in their actions telling themselves that they have to protect you from them in some ways. It's like, I'm just, I'm keeping them safe by not surrendering completely to the connection. But again, that's just them jumping to conclusions, feeling helpless, feeling maybe like they deserve to be overlooked in a lot of ways. They know that they have to increase their efforts if they want to achieve the goals here with you. And that's what you inspire. You inspire reconsideration. You can you inspire somebody to change directions and what they've been, how they've always applied themselves. You are an inspiration to change, but they have to kind of walk through vulnerability, walk through fire to get there. But it's worth it. Like you are worth it. And they recognize that the hesitation comes from within them, not not from within you because even with the jewel within a teardrop you are the jewel within their own pain it's like you are worthwhile you are worth the steps that they have to take in order to achieve that goal we have doing something risky taking a chance with the divine feminine stepping outside of the, any comfort zone they may have whether it be practical whether it be emotional you represent the divine feminine the tiger here you represent this divine tem and they're showing me like that um cereal they're great like they're showing me that cereal we have here stepping into a new experience but feeling very vulnerable look at the naked leg and that's he that's the hesitation that the death energy is representing here in the future they have intentions towards more they have intentions towards deeper connection intentions towards being more vulnerable with you maybe even intentions towards reunions if the two of you are in separation at this time but this is like a cycle that they're going through. They're working themselves up to this. We also have success because they feel like you would represent that. You represent abundance. You represent success. You represent victory. But it feels like a to-do list. Like they still have to achieve that with you by taking the steps they feel guided to take, by perhaps making adjustments in old environments, and old energies that require those adjustments. We have February being significant. I do think of Pisces energy. They are worried about losses and they are worried about gossip. And this, if this message relates to you, then you'll know it's yours because this is not for everyone, but they may be worried about gossip if there are other energies, again, practical investments that are getting in the way that need those adjust adjustments because they're worried about that. But the great passion great passion that they feel and now truthfully i feel like the sexual energy sexual attraction to you is a bit of a gateway drug or a gateway energy towards that deep deeper connection that deeper commitment to each other let's get a couple of message cards here to see what sort of thoughts and feelings they're having in the present moment please it says i want to go after what i want and i'm going after what i want four of wands you have the four of wands here with your nine of pentacles Confidence will be their key to achieving that. But they have intentions towards you, Pal One. 
You represent a fresh seed, a fresh start, a new opportunity. And they know that you feel the same way. Very mutual connection. And that's what it represents the lovers, the Six of Cups. Very mutual. It feels like there's no one else for them or in their perspective. And yet, again, there's a complicated message for someone watching about how there could be other people in the thick of this, in the mix of this, that is contributing to old karmic loops. But that's sort of the hurdle we have to overcome. That's not for everyone. I still feel chained to my past. Make you jealous. So even if there are other people involved here, they it's kind of like apples and oranges in comparison to you. That could be where the jewel within the teardrop comes in. There's an appreciation for the revelation of who you are. And that revelation may not have hit them completely yet, but it doesn't erase the complications or the challenges that we have to go through to achieve our goal. We have, I've never felt like this before, but I do wonder if I'm strong enough. Back of deck, you've taught me so much. Appreciation of what you've taught them. Again, because of the sexual energy, because of the attraction, it's a gateway to deeper understanding about spiritual connection in this situation. Let's get a little, <clears throat> what was their last thought? feelings please towards pile number one we have here i don't want to taint you and he has his hand behind his back with the bong and it has this crossroads energy it has the skull like the pirate symbolism making off of something that doesn't belong to me addictions chained to my past i'm speechless without you and this is coming from the Entanglement Oracle, and I'm going to link this Oracle deck below as well. It says here, I'm sorry. Are my secrets safe with you? It's like, you're a secret that they keep. They are really afraid of being seen. They're really afraid of stepping into new experiences, but that's exactly what you represent. And there's something so tempting about it and something so abundant about it as well. But they are apologizing if they haven't made their intentions known fully in this moment. Let's get a charm bowl, please. What was the very last thought that this person had about pile number one in the bowl, please? So I don't feel like their actions are a true reflection of their true feelings for you because I feel like they're acting way more passive than they would love to act. Way more passive. They spend a lot of time worrying about this and overthinking about this and contemplating their next step but not enough time going after what they want. They have intentions of going after what they want, but not enough time is being spent physically taking those steps. We do have the Queen of Cups and we have the Ten of Swords and the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Cups is reversed. The last thought they had about you was about insecurity, about an impression that they've left you, about leaving you with the impression that you should be insecure or that you don't know how they feel. This leaves them kind of feeling devastated because they're afraid of how you'll receive them if they do go forward with their intentions of movement. Because in this present moment, you're enough of an inspiration to encourage that movement. We have the money bag, somebody who's afraid perhaps of losses. Could be, if, especially if there's a third party involved, they could be afraid of practical losses and the steps they have to take to achieve their goal with you. We have the letter J, Q. We have also the apple, I think, of education and temptation. So schooling could be a factor. We have mending and we have at reversed. They're also bringing in the internet and connection over the internet and somebody who wants to communicate with you to try to bring forward closure. But I don't think it's closure. I think it's more, to be honest with you. We have a cupcake, somebody who wants their cake and eat it too within a connection or a commitment cycle. Pile number one, that's what I have for you today. I hope it resonates. If it does, drop your comment below for a chance to win a free reading with me. You can also check out my link for Etsy for a personal reading, and that link is below, and I do update that shop daily, so keep checking back. But I hope that you come back here and visit me at the Tarot Cottage, and I hope you have a great day. Hello, pile number two. You are drawn to the purple flower and to the perception card, and this is your reading. How does the person on your mind truly feel about you 
versus their actions towards you. So are their actions towards you an accurate portrayal of how they're truly feeling? The perception card says beyond the veil of illusion. So this could be very a very important part of your message, to be honest, because you were also drawn to the purple flower, which is a symbol of empowerment, symbol of expansion as well. So you may have to look beyond your perceptions in this moment to see the definitive truth about how they're truly feeling. So we're going to start with their current actions towards you. We're going to do a split read today. What are their actions towards pile number two, please? How do they act towards pile number two? What are their actions reflecting? Five of wands coming in the reversal. The Empress. She came out in that exact position, I believe, in pile number two as well, or pile number one as well. There is the Ten of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Judgment and the Six of Swords. They are indicating here that there's a lack of closure in this connection. The two of you may not be in contact right now. Or if you are, it could be very limited in emotional contact in this moment. They're also speaking about a lot of drama associated with maybe their passive approach towards you. It's like they don't want to include themselves in drama. They're also speaking about problems between the two of you that have not been in resolution yet. So we haven't resolved something and they may be avoiding that. And the reason they might be avoiding that is because of their current commitment cycles or what they have invested in right now, because they could be really focused on career or focused on building a life for themselves right now. Ten of Pentacles, we can't deny that there could be a family unit that this person is at the helm of. And the loyalty to you seems to be... It's not even that their loyalty and their focus is split in half because they don't share their true thoughts about you. It's like the people in their life don't even recognize how much of an influence you actually are. Because they're showing me this third dog hidden underneath the cloak. If you can look really closely, there's two dogs, but underneath this cloak, it looks like a third dog. And so they're having to hide the loyalty that they feel towards you because it might create drama. But they also feel like things were left up in the air in this connection. So their actions towards you may very much not be um, the true perception of what's going on because you're still being touted as the empress in this present moment. You're acting as a temptation here. We have the page of wands and they're very curious about you. So this could indicate that they they don't have access to you. Maybe you would give them access to you, but they don't have it. In this moment so you have to look beyond immediate appearances of things because if we were to look at things from one perspective we might be limited they're afraid of the consequences of their focus on you actually right now because they feel thirsty and they want to go exploring that truth but what's going to be waiting for them and what will they have to lose or what will they have to risk in order to achieve that goal yeah because they have a lot of responsibilities right now a lot of attachments, they just showed that the Six of Swords, again, poking out on the side. You feel really far away from this person. I feel like they even feel insecure about reaching out to you and com communicating with you at this moment. So there could be absolutely no contact at this time. That doesn't mean that you're not a focus, and that doesn't mean that you don't influence this person profoundly, because we already have the Devil, the Justice, the Empress energy, which means that there are already major themes here that replay itself over and over in their experience connected to you. But there's a feeling about wanting to resolve problems, and they're telling themselves it's closure, but it's not closure, because they still feel attached to you. So we will tell ourselves everything we need to hear to fuel our own belief systems. They want to remain innocent, but the truth is, is that they don't want to remain innocent with you. And so there's a, a sense of wanting to get closure in this connection, but it's actually fire. It's actually curiosity. It's actually thirst associated with the closure. Now let's take a look here at their truest feelings for you because there, if there isn't a lot going on with their actions, then we're just pontificating all day long until we see their true feelings. 
So their actions, again, could be very limited to you. There could be absolutely no contact here, but yet they're still hesitating to close out that cycle. They could be stuck in a karmic relationship. We have the hermit. How do they truly feel, please? They're afraid to lose you. And it's been years. I feel like it's been a long time for someone watching. That may not resonate with everyone, but for someone watching, it's been a long time. <laughs> His clothes are all tethered. We have the five of pentacles. <laughs> Separation. I just heard you could ring my bell. <laughs> we have the king of swords. This person does feel like you might have an impression of them that they were treated you unjustly or something in the past. It's like they're calling themselves kind of a jerk or something. Like they were a jerk to you in the past or they're, they are giving you the perception that they don't care in this moment, that they're ignoring you in some way. But that's why we have to look beyond the veil of illusion here. Look beyond our perceptions to see the truth because you can see how, how much that leaf wants change. So there's a feeling of them ignoring you, but they're actually not ignoring you at all. They've just retreated with that truth. Because hanging off of his cap, they're dreaming about you. And hanging off of their nightcap is that star of Aquarius. So you feel very far away. We have a lot of Capricorn and Libra energy here. Virgo. They are making the assumption as well in their current feelings that you do not know how they feel. That you are not, maybe you're not even invested They're really wrestling with this idea of you. <clears throat> Here we have the Six of Pentacles. Because they're giving you the impression in this separation and in this in-between that they don't support you or that they don't care about you. And that's that couldn't be farther from the truth. They have a very strong fear of loss connected to this situation. And they're jumping to conclusions about you and about how you're perceiving everything. And that just makes it easier for them to maintain their attachments. We have the two of swords. Back of the deck, we have the three of pentacles and the chariot. You represent a benchmark of for this person in the past where they really felt like they should have taken a different path or taken a new approach or a different approach with you. They don't have the ability to commit right now, but they still feel emotionally pulled in different directions. And they know that they should be satisfied. They should have arrived by now. They have a lot to be thankful for. They should have a new perspective here. And yet they keep bringing me back to this feeling of loyalty. Loyalty and holding space for you. It's like if they could charge forward at this moment to reveal themselves, they would. But there's too many complications. And they are feeling the loss. <clears throat> but they're almost feeling like, because they also feel like something is missing in their life. And they have equated that to your connection. You have the Three of Cups. And there's a really strong emphasis on reunions here about how this time and space has only showed them how different you are from other people that they've experienced. They are longing for you. It's like there's a friendship here. Eight of Pentacles. And they keep saying you're the one that got away. They This should have moved out of a friendship zone. This should have moved into something more. There was you are representing a benchmark of their failure when it comes to that. And it's like they're having a hard time admitting the, the love that they feel. There's the King of Cups here with the Two of Swords. That's They're almost having to look beyond their own perceptions right now because they hold so strongly to logic. And you can't always apply logic to connections like this. It's through this connection that they're able to perhaps tap more closely into spiritual connection. But logic doesn't exist for them here, and they're still trying to apply it to this connection. So not only are you supposed to look beyond the, the veil of illusion here, past your own perception, they themselves have to do the same thing to get out of their head and to get into action. But they keep telling themselves that there, there could have been more out of this connection. I could have had a crossroads here. Eight of Cups. 
and they feel very unfulfilled because they they didn't see what was sitting right in front of them which is sort of an irony coming through now too because they're still not seeing the opportunity that sits right in front of them along with the epiphany along with the reality of how they feel is the opportunity for them to act upon it and they feel I feel like they almost feel unsatisfied in current commitment cycles because they weigh it against the opportunity that they feel like could have happened here. It's almost like they're creating this fantasy life of the home that could have been built with you. How do they truly feel? We have wishing well, family wishes that come true. They're also highlighting family energies as well, which is why perhaps they suspend their desires down in that wishing well. We have a lighthearted, carefree time. So ultimately, you do represent in this present moment levity and joy and the lack of responsibilities. Because over on this side, where they're all encompassed in their job, their career, their family, whatever the case may be, it's a lot of work. And yet, when they fantasize about this connection, they get to go back in the past. They get to reunite with lighthearted, carefree energy. It's like a bit of an escapism. We have here, someone is leaving your life, the chair empty. And we have unsettled times need to plan ahead. They are highlighting divine feminine energy with children. So children could be a factor here. It almost feels like they have this desire to create more momentum or more clarity in your connection, but they don't feel like they can until commitment cycles are gone. And yet it doesn't feel like they are in any position or planning to break that cycle themselves. It's like they're waiting for the universe to create a way in this connection. Back of the deck says, the arrogant, boastful person you should not cross with a rooster protecting something. This card actually came out in pile one again as well. Um, but they're speaking about somebody who's protecting a family unit, but also trying to protect this connection, wanting to preserve it in some way, in perpetuity, I feel like, in perpetuity rather, when it comes to the, the nostalgia of the past, wanting to maintain it. Because it's so much easier to do that than it is to take action upon the truth of how they feel, which is why they sometimes put illusions or veils over their own truth so that they're not forced to act upon the truth of how they truly feel because they did show me that king of cups and that strong sense of emotional attachment that this person does feel i feel flattered that you noticed me how are they truly feeling in this moment please for pile number two and these messages are coming from the Entanglement Oracle deck, and I will be linking this deck below as well. I'm in awe of your enigmatic personality. But you can see that it's all of these puzzle pieces that they haven't quite worked out yet. I'm still finding myself and healing my inner child. You are a reflection of me and that's scary. So your feelings may be a reflection of their feelings. Again, looking beyond our own perceptions and beyond our veil of, of illusions. There, if there could be a parallel to their commitment cycles and your commitment cycles at this time. I know that I should have been honest with you from the start. And I want to take care of all of you. So very physical, very attracted to you in this present moment. But the truth is, is that they're a chicken holding on to the potential. There's a space between the two of you or a distance between the two of you. And they are fearful of that sense of loss. They don't want to lose the connection, but they also don't want to lose anything. And that, and, and it brings us right back to that rooster that on the back of that deck, the, the, aspect of the rooster protecting the hen house and guarding themselves against loss here but they're scared they're scared to act on how they truly feel <clears throat> how do they truly feel in this moment please their current thoughts and feelings towards pile number two
you are so beautiful. What do you need me for? Highlighting the beauty of the Empress, which is just the reality, which is just the truth. Supported by the justice. I do want a fresh start with you. I am obsessed with your body, but I also feel like this represents the attachment of the devil. I am addicted to you. They've had many, many fiery, fiery fantasies about you, Pao too. It says, I'm ready. They do want to establish that this fresh start would include a leap of faith or a risk. They are afraid of that financial loss, practical loss in this moment. You do make my heart full. And I miss you. Do you miss me too? Time to ground yourself. And ultimately, they're still planning on grounding yourself. They are speaking here about momentum and intentions towards the future. But I do feel with this pile for you, pile two, that this person may not have a lot of momentum behind them because they're having a difficult time choosing how to leap or when to launch. So this could indicate that they will not be able or capable of launching towards you in a real timely way. Let's get a charm bowl for pile number three, please. The last thought they had about pile three in the bowl connected to their truest feelings. Three of swords, disappointment, heartbreak, almost like apologies coming forward about not acting, not taking the leap of faith, not speaking about how I truly felt as well and keeping my emotions to myself. Their thoughts were also very loving, very emotional with the King of Cups coming forward, but being a too afraid to say it. Sorry, my throat keeps going out, pal too. Keep losing my voice. We have dance. This person feels very disappointed with how everything has transpired between the two of you, but they still would do it over again. They would go back and they'd go through the whole thing over again if it meant meeting you. We have a wrench in our plans. We have Libra energy next to the, sorry about my throat, <clears throat> next to the um, pumpkin, October. We have A and N. We also have here the unfinished business of the world. It's a marble that has a big sort of striation in it. We have the shamanic feather. And we do have the honeybee, which is a symbol of sweet results that await us and perhaps commitment cycles as well. Pile number two, that's what I have for you today. I hope it resonates. If it resonates with you, please drop your comment below for a chance to win a reading with me. You can also check out my link for Etsy for a personal reading if you feel called to. And I do update that shop daily. But I hope that you come back here and visit me at the Tarot Cottage and I hope you have a great day. Hello, pile number three. You are drawn to the blue flower. You are also drawn to the temptress and this is your reading. The person on your mind, what are their actions versus their true feelings towards you? Are their actions towards you in this moment a true depiction of their true feelings or are there some discrepancies there? So the temptress here is number 15. There's devil attachment, there's sexuality, there's all sorts of attraction associated with this temptress. It says seduction, deceit, and a broken promise. So this could indicate third party involvement. So please take that as it resonates to your situation. This could also just represent a lot of attraction that they feel is pulling them towards you, a very physical desire that they have towards you as well. So let's take a look here. We're gonna start with their actions towards you so we can compare and contrast against their truest feelings and see if there's any sort of link there. What are their actions towards pile number three, please? We have the temperance. I just heard that song from Stained that says it's been a while since I can say. I just heard it's been a while. Ace of Wands. <clears throat> Seven of Wands. I just saw the Four of Swords. Can we clarify the Temperance, please? Their actions towards pile number three. Nine of Pentacles. I don't think you guys are talking. Three of Swords.
and the chariot. Back of the deck is the eight of swords, and we have the six of pentacles. I don't think you, the two of you are talking in this present moment. So their actions towards you could be very limited. I feel like um, you're both kind of represented by these two beggars down here begging for information. And this person does feel like they put themselves in this prison. You may feel completely ignored or overlooked. You may feel like this person has forgotten all about you. It may have taken some time to achieve where we're at in this moment. It could be years, um, a couple of years even. But there is something really profound about the inspiration towards change that this does represent. And it brings me right back to your temptress energy, seduction, deceit, and a broken promise. Because this person could be stuck in a karmic relationship, for instance. What they are definitely stuck in is a belief system or, or a... They feel like they're stuck with the bed that they made when it comes to you. It's like I reap what I sow in this situation. I didn't see what was sitting right in front of me. Their actions might reflect to you that you again that they haven't that they don't think about you or that there's nothing left but it couldn't be farther from the truth if i'm honest with you because you distract them with all of these thoughts even despite the the no contact it's almost like the more no contact we have the more my heart is wanting contact or wanting some type of of solution to this disappointment and heartbreak because that's what's happening in this moment this could be your reaction to their actions towards you Again, feeling overlooked, feeling ignored. But this is definitely how they feel when they get inspired by thoughts of you. Because you inspire change. But they could have third party here. And there could be a lot to lose, which is why they feel pulled in different directions. You're part of their past. They wonder how you would fit into the future. And then my light just went out as well. And that could be what has to happen. A light has to go out in order for us to progress into something more. But you're, it's like you are, this temperance energy for me, temperance, when somebody is a part of our temperance journey, that's a profound collaboration. Like we need to almost respect the collaboration that's happening there because it's helping to bring us back into balance. But it also means that it, it creates a little bit of upheaval because it's like taking anything we don't want, anything unsavory and, and alchemizing it into liquid gold. But we have to go through that pressure system first to even recognize that we have the ingredients for gold so it's like it's almost like we have to experience the loss before we recognize what we actually have sitting right in front of us and now they're playing that passenger song it's like you only see the light when it's burning low you only you know when you're not at home that's when you miss your home and that's what it feels like but it doesn't feel like their actions i don't feel like there's a lot of actions towards you at all and that can be very deceiving that can make us feel, again, that we're not important, that we're overlooked. It makes us feel like this beggar, when the truth is this person is a reflection of you in this present moment. Now, I'm just going to pause you for a moment to light your candle back up. Sorry about that, pal three. So let's take a look in contrast to their current feelings surrounding you. Because if their actions are not reflecting anything then we sort of have a blank slate to see how they're truly feeling in this present moment. So how do they truly feel about pile number three, please? We have the two of swords. They're really honing me in on this eyeball that's in the center here. Of uh, This almost looks like a like an awakening energy. How do they truly feel, please? Six of cups. King of or nine of cups. It breaks down to the 15 of the devil, which we have here. Capricorn energy, very strong. Cancer, very strong as well. We have the death. Back of deck is the three of wands. Now you'll notice with the three of wands here, this is the Disney villains tarot. And this looks like a cauldron that's brewing and bubbling over. And it looks a little dangerous, looks a little ominous, but this is really reflecting the attraction, the desire for expansion that still exists here, that's still in play. It's like they're still trying to create solutions for themselves, or they still want expansion in this connection. Let's clarify this as we go. We have the six of wands coming out with the moon 
We also have the Five of Swords, King of Wands, the Empress energy, Seven of Cups. Queen of Wands. Two of Cups. Ten of Cups. With the Seven of Swords. I'm sorry, the Six of Swords. Pile number three, to reunite with you is this person's wish in the present moment. And again, they're playing that passenger song that they only saw the light when it was growing cold or when you were gone. The Ten of Cups is the full spectrum of their truth. But you can see that the Ten of Cups is coming out of a pirate ship. And there's this emphasis on the lookout on the top of that pirate ship as well, because that's what they had to climb to different heights. They had to see things from a different perspective to see you. And now you act as this temperance. Because they've arrived at some sort of understanding with the Six of Swords all on their own. They didn't even need your physical collaboration to achieve some type of clarity over you in this moment. But you can see she's still holding on to Lucifer the Cat, which is this attachment energy to you. Such a strong attachment. I feel like it's a two-way street. Here's the Four of Wands, Soulmate energy, Four of Wands, Twin Flame energy. This person feels like you are the one. But they'll have to break promises. They'll have to break commitment cycles. They can't commit in this moment. They don't have the confidence to commit in this moment. And they don't have the confidence to move through this cycle at this time. They feel very intimidated about, about almost the bittersweet nature of the lesson that's come in because she's about to bite on a poison apple. But the apple is a symbol of temptation. It's also a, sim a symbol of education. In some ways, they've been very much educated by the truth of their feelings here. Such a strong, such a strong emphasis on the Six of Cups and reunions with you and how special you are to this person. This is not just about the physical desire of you. They've wrapped that into this energy, but the truth is this is an emotional connection. This is somebody who has this strong wish and desire that they have been keeping hidden below the surface of that water. And you, it's Ursula, she's a huge, you know, she's a huge squid or she's a huge octopus. And those little sucker cups are speaking about the attachments from the past and how I should have been smarter. They're speaking about how their intelligence didn't come in in time. It's like I wasn't smart enough back then. My awareness didn't show up in time for me. And now that I have the awareness, it acts as this lure. But I feel stuck in a prison of my own design. I feel stuck in the, in this environment or this karmic connection or in just in my own it's like I have to lay in the bed that I made in this connection I honestly feel like this person does love you like I feel like there's genuine love here and I feel like they think that they're going to love you forever I don't think that they think it's going to go anywhere if you'll notice here though this death energy holds the temperance road and at the end of it, it's not the sun it's a skull and so they recognize that their clarity has to, has to bypass through a death cycle in order to achieve anything more in this connection. It's like there has to be a transition of reality and grief in order for us to move into relationships together. But that's the temptation that you represent. Because you represent great happiness, but they're hiding that truth in their heart space. The harp is always a symbol of the left breast pocket where they'll find the key. So they keep that hidden in their heart space, this truth of you. We have the mis wall of misunderstanding. Almost looked like the Great Wall of China. You can see it from space. <laughs> you know, there's a feeling of this misunderstanding. We could see it from space. And they may have built up a foundation here. And you may be achieving this perspective of like, well, because they're in another foundation, they must have moved on. Things could not be farther from the truth. That is a misunderstanding. They also want to bring into understanding how they truly feel about you because they don't feel like they have shared that with you. We have woman, dealings or relationship with a woman. And she's got daisies in her hair. They're speaking about playfulness and wanting to renew that with you. And the uncertainty of like, they love me, they love me not. They love me, they love me not. They're pretty certain this is a two-sided connection. And they could be feeling, maybe they're a little bit, 
um, smug in that in that belief system, but I feel they're right. <laughs> they could just be very intuitive. You are on the road to success, the mountain road. This mountain road looks a lot like the mountain road in the middle of the death cycle. But when we go, when they're on the road to success in one environment, as they've been climbing this mountain, they've achieved that understanding of the temperance. They've gone through the waves of uncertainty. And now it kind of feels like once they've almost reached the top of that peak, they don't know if they want to continue the ascent. Oh, marriage coming out. And that could be the source of the muddled, unclear thinking. The temptation that you represent. And they are trying to protect something. They just showed me like the evil eye or they showed me like this energy surrounding the evil eye. We have gossip. Someone will gossip about all of your secrets. And they've got, oh, we've got lots going on here, but they've got plenty of material things. And yet with this, with this card, plenty of material things, they're highlighting reunions with the pineapple and they're highlighting third party because they're highlighting swinging energy and having this fantasy is surrounding having my cake and eating it too. The cherries here representing exploring sexuality with you perhaps that they didn't get a chance to the temptation of the apple things going pear-shaped and then we have the banana which is really speaking about financial losses lots of material things financial losses it says you'll be taken care of in difficult times and that's why they ground themselves presently is because they have invested in something that they feel they can rely on this feels uncertain this feels like it's filled with the unknown I'm going to use the Entanglement Oracle deck here today to try to get some understanding surrounding their current feelings. I will link this deck below as well. Drape me in your sunshine. It's like they desperately want clarity. It feels like I feel like they trust that the two of you have a mutual connection, but you can see her back is towards this person. So that's what's giving me this impression of them wondering or not 100% certain about how you're feeling. Like they want clarity from you. I do see a future with you. Can we start over? This person feels like they have intention. They know they have to find the determination to make a distinctive move, but they do feel like they have intentions towards you. I'm scared that you're going to say no if I approach you. And I feel like you were just the right person, wrong timing. But now they're showing you like this person's melting on the sidewalk. They're showing an egg frying on the sidewalk. And how there was all of that potential at that time. There was all that potential at that time. I've been shook since I laid eyes upon you. And please just tell me how to make this right. We have the monkey wrench. We have the regular wrench. They're speaking about wrenches in our plans and the fear of the unknown. Perhaps even children being associated with that fear of the unknown as to solutions and trying to find solutions in this connection. <clears throat> Let's get some message cards here towards their th current thoughts and feelings, please, towards pile number three. Some people don't want to see us together, but I don't care. And I have been putting myself first, and I know that I'm, it's only hurting me more. I just saw, I've thought about surprising you with a date. So this person has intentions to reach out to you. I feel like if they knew it was a sure thing, they would leap right now. I don't know how to express my love to you, so I keep it inside. It was you. It was always you. The one that got away. <clears throat> I'm not blind to the signs. I see them.
and you will hear from me soon. Don't focus on who wants me because I want you. So lots of intentions for you, pile number three. Even if there are attachments here, this person is claiming that they are planning on coming forward. So you may find that this person reaches out to you in the future. Let's get a charm bowl. Your last thought for pile number three in the charm bowl, please. I hear that song in my head, um, Lose My Breath by, um, I think it's Destiny's Child or Beyonce. And Can You Keep Up? <laughs> And they're really highlighting this last thought about you being perhaps very physical, very sexual in nature. Um, and I feel like they were thinking about that to try to ward off the reality of the conflict. Um, because they were, it's almost like they were gaslighting themselves into this fantasy, into this fan fantastical thought. And if they do that to try to avoid the reality or the steps that they have to take to create the change, because you act as the temptress here. Butterfly of Transformation. We have the Four Leaf Clover for good luck. We also have the Sword here and the Wrench. We saw the Wrench. Actually, we saw the Monkey Wrench and the Wrench, and here they are, and they want to make it right. Really highlighting the back deck here of the Enchantment Oracle. Tell me how to make this right. The Monkey Wrench and the Wrench. They're like, I'll use whatever tool I have. We have V and Wishes Do Come True and O. We also have the Button of Mending. This person has intentions, Pile 3 to mend things. They just need to know how. They need to know what they need to do. All right, pile number three. That's what I have for you today. I hope it resonates. If it does, drop your comment below for a chance to win a reading with me. You can also check out my link for Etsy for a personal reading if you feel called to. And I hope that you come back here and visit me at the Tarot Cottage, and I hope that you have a great day.